Hi there, Dave Rawlings here at the London Longsword Academy and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the bollocks that people talk about rondel daggers and let's address some of the issues with it. So, what is the rondel dagger? What makes it the rondel dagger? These, the rondels, the little round metal discs, they make it a rondel dagger other than just a dagger. And what I have heard said about these is first of all that they are a way of being able to push your dagger into, into the spaces of your opponent's armour and thus kill them thusly. Um, no, that's that's possible but not the best use of them or that maybe it's a way of stopping the opponent prizing them from your hand and I want to give you a much more simple and I think pragmatic answer they are a shield they are hand protection if I have a large rondel it is there to protect my hand if I have a large rondel on the back it is there to protect my hand so if I'm making slashing movements with the dagger here Okay, I want to be protected against your counter thrusts, so I want something on the back to protect me from your dagger thrusts. That's simple. If you think like a toolbar, not only is it there to hold your hand in place, it's primarily there, I guess, to stop you accidentally getting stabbed in your hand, which is the most immediate and closest thing to your opponent other than the blade. But when it's like so, it's not in presence. So here it's to protect your hand. Think of it in the same way for your dagger. When you're holding it forwards to thrust like so, if your opponent is thrusting in a similar plane, you want protection for your hand. A rondel is there to protect your hand. It is armor, it is a shield, it is as simple as that. Now, obviously, yes, you can hold this tight like this and this will be a tactical choice for you. But if you do it as described in a lot of the texts, you put your thumb on the disc here, you just simply relax your grip. You see here, and this allows you to make your arm and your wrist straight rather than uncomfortable. In the same way here, if I wish to use my rondel in a more protective manner to bring it to my elbow, doing like so, I can, but you see it rests away from my elbow. So simply putting my thumb on the back of the disc here, which even on this very, very large rondel I can do quite easily, I can place it like so. If I put my thumb to the disc, see, I can place it flush with my arm. Here allows me a lot more maneuverability. It still allows me to be able to hold it tight. Okay. Now obviously that does loosen the grip a little bit, and if I want to hold it tight then that is a tactical choice for me, and I can do so, but dexterity often will serve me better than sheer strength in this aspect. So, why have different size rondels on your dagger? And again, I would say that this is just simply down to risk reward. If I want to be able to have something with a lot of protection, I want the larger disc. Simple as that. You see it protects quite a lot of hand again, on the most obvious target offered to your opponent. If, however, I wish to have something which allows me to maybe hold the, the knife with a little bit more dexterity, then simply I reduce the size of whichever disc I want that maneuverability in. So if I want to have more maneuverability towards the palm of my hand, obviously I'm going to reduce the size of the rear disc. If I want to be able to maybe get my thumb closer to the blade, I'm going to reduce the size of the forward disc. And this happens a lot in daggers all over the place. The disc size varies, the form of the dagger changes slightly. And look at it in that simple risk reward context. I want to be able to do this. Well, you'll need a smaller disc then, sir. Well, I want to have safety. Well, maybe you should stick with the fucking bigger one, sir. How does that do for you? So keep it simple. Think of these things practically. As a caveat, we do a lot of dagger play and free play within the academy. And these things all pan out. You get quite often, even on the smaller cold steel trainers, you get little bits of safety from this small disc. It is a shield. I hope that's been taken, it has been helpful to you, and I hope you enjoyed it, and take care. I'll see you soon.